Hello, everybody, and guten tag, Freunde. It is I, the Teutonic Plague, and welcome to episode five of Grains of Truth. This will be number five for the folks that are keeping track, and, um... I owe you guys an apology, first and foremost. I haven't done Grains of Truth in a couple of weeks, or a few weeks, or what have you. Two or three weeks, and I'm sorry, folks. I am truly sorry, but school kind of caught up with me for a second there, and... Also, I had to, you know, get some content. I had to see what was going on in the world, because, you know, Grains of Truth, as we know it, is changing. That's right, folks. I am changing Grains of Truth. I'm changing the format. Instead of straight-up opinions, you're going to get a rather decadent cocktail of, opinion, of current events and opinions, most of which are going to consist of my take on current events. Now, I tend not to get too political, but, well, I want to talk about, first of all, I want to talk about, I want to talk about Ben Carson. That's right, folks. I want to talk a little bit about, I want to talk a little bit about my man, Ben Carson. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That is my man. Dr. Ben Carson. Let me, let me, let me, hold on a second. Gotta open this can of do. All right. I'm sipping on the green Jesus this time. I am sipping on classic, regular, old-fashioned do. They didn't have the blue Jesus in the store when I went, so I bought the green shit instead. Now first, let me take a cheers to the... Let me do a swill. Let me do a sip to Dr. Carson. I'll explain why in a sec, folks, but first let me do a cheers. Now, the reason I'm... First of all, the reason I'm talking so softly is, um... Kind of, you know, in a dorm. You know, there are certain you know, people... There are certain folks who are going to be sticklers for the rules. Granted, they're the exception rather than the rule, but there are certain folks who are kind of, you know, um, sticklers, for lack of a better term. And fortunately, my roommates are not among them, because my roommates, as you may or may not be able to hear, like to create a zoo. They're watching a movie in the other room. Uh, but here's the thing. My, you know, one of the people in the neighboring suites apparently you know, pissed and moaned to the RA that, oh, I'm too loud. <laughs> Shove it up your ass. God damn it. Anyway, that's why I'm being so quiet and all that, and I've got a bit of a headache. I don't know if it's stress induced or because it's Tuesday or what. And uh, actually, it's Sunday at the time I'm recording this. Well, let me explain to you why I did that sip to, ben, to my man, Dr. Ben Carson. Now, the good doctor, there are some folks in the, in the liberal media who do not like this man. So what they do is they get some dirt on, you know, try to get some dirt on him to bring him down a couple pegs. But this ain't happening, and here's why. Dr. Carson. Dr. Carson. And uh, this guy uh, posts on, you know, there's this guy who posts on uh, some of his uh, Facebook pages. He's got some weird name, some about a, some about a, I don't know, Trench or something. I don't know, uh, Jason Trenchenstein. I don't know. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, I know, I know the guy's name. Jacob Tench. That's the guy. That's the guy I'm thinking of. Jacob Tench. Now. Mr. Tench, I want to do a hats off to you because today I was snooping around on Ben Carson's Facebook page. Now, 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 I, Teutonic Plague, do not have a Facebook. But there's this guy out there. I've been snooping around Ben Carson's Facebook page to get the latest news on him. Now, what this Tench guy did was he wrote a little poem about old Mr. Carson. He wrote a, he wrote a rather flattering uh, little ditty about Ben Carson. Now... 
What I'd venture to say is that uh, given, I don't know, I'm pretty good with music. I think the tune to the Irish drinking song, Roz and the Bow, might fit the bill. You don't know what Roz and the Bow is. Look it up. It's a good song. Good little drinking song. Sometimes I listen to it. Sometimes I, you know, sometimes it plays in my head when I'm in my cups down at the bar down the way from the campus. Anyway, what happened is, you know, Tench has been posting such things as Carson Rising and Long Live Ben and All Hail Ben. He's been posting some rather flattering things about Ben Carson, and he actually came forth with a suggestion. Jacob over there, old, old Jacob over there, actually came up with a suggestion saying, well, you know, we should drill domestically and, you know, so and create jobs and invest in alternative energy so that we can create jobs and stop having to rely on China, on China and other countries and, pay off, and be able to pay off our debt and maybe experience a bit of a surplus. And let me tell you something, sir. Let me tell you something, uh, Jacob Tench, if you're listening. I agree with you. I agree with you, man. I agree with you. All right? Domestic drilling and investing in, you know, alternate energy and bringing the jobs back here and building factories and going back to our industrial roots, that would create American jobs. It may or may not create very many, but it would create jobs. But I'm, I, I digress. Now, what I want to say about Mr. Carson is this. The media has been trying to dig up the dirt on this man, but they have been failing utterly. Do you know why? There is no dirt. This man, because this man is, uh, you know, he's, a, he's the exception to the general rule of politicians. This guy's honest. This guy is, you know, morally pure. And this guy, you know, on top of that, he knows his shit, you know. But he is an outsider. He's not exactly in the system, but he is an outsider. But I got to say, the inertia behind him is pretty good. And I don't know, this tench might be having this tench this tench fucker might be having premonitions. So let me tell you something, Mr. Tench. Let me tell you something, Tench. I'm behind you and I'm behind Carson. I stand with Ben. He'll inspire revive is his motto. But I think he should steal Trump's make America great again because folks, that is what Mr. Carson is gonna do. I don't care what the liberal media says. And you, let, let me let me tell you a little bit some about the liberal media. You may or may not heard not have heard. You may or may not have heard about an organization called Politico. Now, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of unaware of what Politico what what Politico exactly is. But apparently, these assholes tried to say that Carson did something or another. I can't remember. You might want to look up Carson Politico. But you know, Carson, he. This guy has a big pair of balls on him, and here's why. This guy actually had the audacity to call out the media and, ex and accuse them of lying. And do you know what political did, Politico did? The people were behind Carson, and they backed him up, and they accused all these people of lying, too. And do you know what the media did? They took off their hats, got down on their goddamn knees, and admitted... Get this, they admitted to lying. Let me say that again. They admitted to lying about Dr. Carson. The liberal media, the people spoke, Carson spoke, and those fuckers at the liberal media those assholes listened. Score one for the goddamn good guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Score one for the good guys. Carson and victory two. In the immortal words of this of Jacob Tench, Carson and victory two. Well, you know. And the fact that Carson actually called these assholes out, they, they admitted the lying, you know, that's a step in the, in the right direction. And the fact that Carson has actually been added to the ballot of several states, and he's currently, right now, he's going to be over Trump, uh, whose approval rating, I believe, is going down, and Carson's is going up, and the fact that 
Carson is also the candidate of choice over Hillary Rodham Clinton. He, uh, he is the candidate of choice over Hillary Clinton. Or should Hillary Rodham Clinton. Or should I say Hillary Goddamn Clinton? I don't know. You figure it out. But he's the candidate of choice over Hillary. And in terms of as it pertains to the Republican Party and the Republican Party alone, he is moving on up. He's over Trump, which is good news for me because I'm a re I'm, I'm registered to vote as a Republican, folks. See, because it's not a case of right versus left, guys. It's right versus wrong. All right. <laughs> now, and that's what's happening with Carson. He's going up, and these other guys are going down. I think Hillary might be going down, too, and Sanders might be going up. But uh, let me tell you a little something about Hillary, all right? She's a liar. And, and, and I, don't, I don't particularly agree with her platform, either. She's all smiles on the outside, but inside, you want to know what I think? Evil! That's right, folks. She's a lion sack. She's the rule. She's a lion sack. And I don't think that she'd be a good job, do a good job as president. Now, 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 listen. I know what you ass hurt liberals are going to be saying in the comment graffiti. You're going to be saying, "Oh, oh, you're you're sexist. Oh, if oh, if you don't vote for Hillary, you're sexist. Oh, if you're against what she's for, you, you, you. yeah, I know the drill. I know you goddamn liberals like I know the back of my motherfucking hand." You don't vote for Hillary, you're a sexist. If you're against what she's for, you're a sexist. Now, let me tell you something. One, that's not true. If I don't vote for Hillary, I'm not sexist, but I certainly don't think she'd do a good job in the White House. And if I'm against what she's for, well, I'm not sexist. But I venture to say that I don't think she's going to do a good job in the White House, and I don't, which is why I ain't voting for her. I can't vote for her anyway because in my state, primaries are closed. I can vote in the Republican Party for. Uh, I can vote in the Republican Party though. And uh, well, by God, I if, well, by God, if you folks don't know who, I'm, who the fuck I'm voting for, I mean, what the fuck kind of rock have you been living in? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. All right, here's here's another, you know, and here's here's another thing. I think that, you know, I would prefer, as it pertains, I'm not a Democrat, I'm not a liberal, and I'm not a socialist. In fact, I, I hate socialism. I spit on socialism. I take a big, yellow, bubbly piss and a diarrhea, a steamy diarrhea shit on socialism. All right? Capitalism is where it's at, because that's what America was built on. Capitalism. Owning property. Making money, all right? Obtaining capital. I made a good uh, deal of capital last summer, especially for a college student, but I'm not talking about it. I'm not talking about capitalism just yet. I don't want to talk about capitalism just yet. We'll table that for the time being. But, I mean, anyway. Anyway, as it pertains to the Democratic Party, I would prefer it if Sanders was the Democratic nominee. I know he's going to be a rerun of Obama, but I'd rather Sanders take it because Hillary, she's going to drive this country down, down, down. I mean, granted, the Democrats are going to drive this, you know, any Democrat would feasibly drive this country down, but Hillary, she would, you know, knock it down into the shitter faster than you can say, And no, liberals, if I, liberals, if you're saying that if I don't vote for Hillary and I'm against what she's for, I'm sexist, if you vote for Hillary just because she's a woman, you are just as sexist. I know there are a lot of women out there who will vote for Hillary, a lot of women, a lot of fucking feminazis that will vote for Hillary just because she's a woman. You sexist bitches, all right, and here's why. If you vote for Hillary just because she's a woman, you're just a sexist. All right? Don't vote for Hillary just because she's a woman. In fact, don't vote for Hillary for any reason at all. All right? Steer clear. All right. Don't vote for I mean, I know, I know. It's not polite to tell folks how to vote. But but here. Okay. Don't vote for Hillary, all right? Do not, under any goddamn circumstances, vote for Hillary. I don't care if it's Hillary versus Trump. If it's Hillary versus Trump, vote for fucking Trump. All right? 
I'd rather have, that's, that's right, folks, I'd rather have Trump in the White House than Hillary fucking Clinton, all right? That's how fucking bad I think she is. Now, let me explain what I'm saying in a nutshell. I have no problem with there being a female president, all right? No problem with a female president. None, all right? None whatsoever, goddamn motherfucking ever. If a woman wants to be president, good for her. Break that glass ceiling. I just don't want Hillary to do it. I don't want Hillary to be the first female president. I mean, I don't know about Carly Firoa or whatever her name is. Some, some uh, along that line. I haven't studied her platform. I mean, she is a Republican, so I'm inclined to believe that she'd steer this country in the right direction, but I don't think she... Unfortunately, I don't think Carly has a shot. Carson does. Trump does. Uh, Sanders does, and unfortunately Hillary does, but I don't think Carly has a shot. I don't think... I think Scott Walker dropped out of the race. I don't think Bush has it much of a chance either. It's, it's, I mean, I know we've got another year to figure this whole thing out, but it is fun to speculate, folks. You gotta agree with me there. But I don't think, in my personal opinion, that I don't think that the, I, I think the only people with a fighting chance of getting into that White House and getting a view from the White House lieu of Pennsylvania Avenue are Trump. Hillary, Sanders, and Carson. Those are the only four people who I think may have a shot, all right? They might have a shot. In fact, they probably do. It. They, they all have a shot. There's no might about it. They all have a shot. I don't think these other guys are going to take it. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. I apologize to all the Bush supporters, all the Carly supporters, all, all, the, all the Ron Paul supporters, all the supporters on the other you know, Democratic side, I haven't been paying much attention to the Democratic side of the polls, except when it comes down to Hillary and Sanders. <laughs> but, you know, I apologize to all those guys, but I don't think, you know, if you support anybody but those four candidates I listed, read Trump, Hillary, Carson, and Sanders, I'm sorry, but I don't think your candidate has a chance. Well, I'm going to go ahead and be a naysayer. About that, I'm going to be, you know, a you know, a, you know, a pessimist, as the optimists like to label the realists. <laughs> I mean, there are two kinds of. They're not optimists and pessimists. They're idealists and realists. And um, I think the realists are going to take it as it pertains to life itself and evolution. But here's the thing. All right, I mean. Now, to all of you members who are, who are die-hard, gung-ho members of a political party, Republicans, Democrats, you know who you are. You, got, you folks know who you are. All right? You folks know exactly who you are. Now, when people say vote straight Democrat or vote straight Republican, don't listen to them. I'm a Republican, and I don't vote straight Republican. I know, I know, I sound like a traitor to my party, but here's the thing. You know, I'm a man who likes to think for himself. I don't always vote at my party's call. Now, if I think the Republican's going to do a better job, and generally I do, you know, as, as, a, as a registered Republican and a conservative, you know, the, the Republicans are the, tend to be conservative and the Democrats tend to be liberal. Now, you know, and, you know, I'll most of the time vote for a Republican because I sometimes think the Republican's going to do a better job, but if I think the Democrat's going to do a better job, I'll vote for him. I vote for whoever I think is going to do a better job in a given office. I don't care if we're talking about governors. I don't care if we're talking about senators. I don't care if we're talking about representatives. And by God, I don't even care if we're talking about the President of the United States. I don't care if we're talking about POTUS. POTUS, that's an acronym for President of the United States, P-O-T-U-S. And almost everybody knows it. And, you know, another thing, that, now, now, I want you folks to get out your tinfoil hats. Because it's time 
for a conspiracy theory. Now, some people say that the Democrats and the Republicans are same parties, or are the same party. And I like to chalk those people up with those who believe in lizard men. And here's why. They're obviously two different parties. I mean, they have two entirely different platforms, and they're fighting with each other. Now, granted, what they're fighting over makes no sense. Who gets the money and who gets the power, yes, but let, let's imagine a tree, all right? Two people want to cut down this tree. One person wants to cut it down with a craftsman. The other wants to cut it down with a Husqvarna. And for those of you who are unaware of what craftsmen and Husqvarna are, they make power tools and tools in general. And of course, um, and uh, in this case, I am of course talking about chainsaws, folks. Chainsaws. One wants to use a Husqvarna, one wants to use a craftsman. And they're not, uh, and they're not fighting over, you know, they're, they're, they're not fighting over, you know, something legitimate like like, um, oh, I don't know, what they're going to use the tree to build, if they're going to use it to build a, a fishing boat or a log cabin, let's say, log cabin, a small log cabin or outhouse or what have you. No, they're fighting over which chainsaw to use to cut this tree. Does it make a difference? No. And here's why. Either way, this tree is going to be cut down. That's a given. But they can't seem to come to a consensus on which tree to cut down. Uh, on on uh, which chainsaw they want to use to cut down the tree. And that's the logic that the people who believe that they're the same party use. I mean, sure, I mean, but it, it's down to this. Two parties fighting over how they want to do, you know, I mean, and that, sometimes that is what happens. If both parties get together and they decide, well, we both want to build up the infrastructure, let's say. Build up the infrastructure. But one person wants to build, well, let's say the Democrats want to, make, want to build bridges, want to maintain bridges, and the Republicans want to maintain roads. Now, as humans, we're flawed. Now, and do these people, do these people, you know, generally settle, you know, come to an agreement and say, all right, you Democrats, spend your money on your bridges and we'll build our up? No. They fight over it until somebody steps in, until the president steps in and says enough. And that's not what Obama's been doing, which is one of the reasons I don't think Mr. Obama is doing a good job, but it's all right because he's pretty much a lame duck anyway. Look at my swell. And, yeah, sometimes, yeah, the chainsaw scenario does happen. But most of the time, it's, it's the Democrats want to spend money on social projects, being liberals, social security, welfare. And the Republicans want to spend it. The, the Republicans are saying, no, beans to that. We want to spend money on the infrastructure. We have this big wad of cash. Let's say uh, they get a package consisting of, let's be generous and say, $40 billion. Right on the nose. $40 billion. Now, the Democrats want to spend that, want to spend the $40 billion on, we'll say, social programs, and the Republicans want to spend it on the infrastructure. Now, in an ideal situation, in a perfect world, the Democrats and the Republicans would get together and say, okay, we get 20 billion, you get 20 billion. You spend your 20 billion on whatever it is the fuck you want to spend it on. I don't care if you want to spend it on, you know, the social programs, uh, yachts, or, you know, bonuses, whatever. All right, if you want to spend your 20 billion on social programs, you go right the fuck ahead and we'll just spend our 20 on so on on the infrastructure. No. But no. Everybody wants all the money. The Republicans want all the money and the to spend on the infrastructure. The Democrats want all the money, every bit of it. 
to spend on social programs. And they get to fighting over who gets them. It all comes down, you know, in a perfect world, the first scenario would happen. But are we living in a perfect world? Oh, fuck no. Fucking A, no. So both parties are going to want all the money. Every goddamn penny of it. Because they're humans, and humans are greedy by nature. It's a sur I mean, greed is a survival a trick. Greed is a survival trick. The more you have, the, the, the better your chances of survival. Greed is a survival trick. I can, I can, I can see that point. But, you know, they're fighting over who gets the money. And when an election rolls around, you're not, they're not going to give half the seats to the Democrats and half the seats to the Republicans. Oh, no, 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 no. Then they fight over who gets the power. The Republicans want all the power. The Democrats want all the power. So it all comes down to two things. They're two different parties, okay? But I will concede to the folks who think they're the same party that they do want the same thing. Two different parties who want the same thing. They want. They want. To, they fight over who gets the money, and they fight over who gets the power. At least that's the way. You know, that's the way I see it. But they are two different parties. One's conservative. One's liberal. You know, plain as you know, different as day and night. Conservatives and liberals are complete opposites. But as greedy humans. They want all the money and they want all the power, so they're going to fight over it. Because, I mean, in this world, the rich get richer and the poor starve. I'm sorry, but that's how it works. Granted, sometimes a poor man can become a rich man, or a poor woman can become a rich woman, depending on the gender, of course. But, you know, it, it all comes down in Washington to money and power. And you know the and you know these people obviously their parents have not taught them how to share, which is why folks, I don't think the people in Washington are doing a particularly good job of running the country right now. I think we need to vote these people out. We need to vote whoever's in the system, vote them out. All right, kick them out, folks. Kick them all out. Vote them all out, and put in outsiders. Put in a whole bunch of outsiders. I mean, they can be rich, they can be poor, whatever. If you, I mean, if, if some, I don't know, if Craig Johnson from the ghetto wants to put his name on the ballot and, and uh, make his, you know, throw his head in the ring and run for the Senate, I think he should be able to. This country was built on you know, the everyman being able to run for office and vote. You know, that's what we need to go back. We do need to go back to our roots, folks. We need people in office. We need, we need statesmen. Now, when, I, when I'm talking about, here's the thing. Uh, one of the great Roman orators or philosophers, I forget which one, said that there are two kinds of people. There are politicians and there are statesmen. Politicians are the greedy assholes who want all the money and all the power, like the folks in Washington. And statesmen are people who look out for the best, who look out for the people's own self-best interest, who look out for the interests of the people. And, and they're good guys and are good, honest folks. Uh, for example, all right, Donald Trump is a politician. He's rich and he's entirely self-funded, and I'll give him that. He doesn't have to bow down to corporate lobbyists, I'll give him that. But, you know, he's... He comes off as a greedy, you know, son of a... He comes off as, as a greedy... As, as a greedy... As a greedy man who's out for his own self destiny who's out for his own interests. Who's out for himself. Ben Carson is a statesman. Ben Carson cares about the people... And he does want to heal, inspire, and revive, quote unquote, heal, inspire, and revive, you know, the nation, which is something I can most assuredly get behind. And there are politicians and there are statesmen. Now, as it pertains to looking out for number one and looking for the pe looking out for the people, let me. I'm going to go ahead and seed another point. All right. 
I'm a realist, I'm a pragmatist, I believe in what's real and what works. And what's real and what works is that, so, that both selfishness and altruism are survival tricks. If you're selfish, you know, but, but you've got to find a balance. I mean, if you're altruistic, I mean, you know, we've got a tribal instinct, we like to band together, and altruism helps us maintain order within the tribe and work together as a community. But selfishness helps us get just, you know, enough money and power and food and chips to survive. But you have to balance the two out. Because if you're selfish all the fucking time, you're a bastard, and you're an asshole, and you're a douchebag, and you're a son of a bitch, and you're, you know, you're a son of a bitch, and you're a jerk. But if, on the other hand, on the other end of the spectrum, if you're altruistic all the time, you're a doormat. People walk all over you. They take all kinds of advantage of you. So you have to find a balance between the two. Some, sometimes it pays to be altruistic, and sometimes it pays to be selfish. What's the payoff? Which has the greater payoff? You know what I mean? I mean, generally I'm altruistic. Sometimes I, I gotta be selfish, folks. Sometimes I gotta be an asshole whether I want to or not. I'm sure Carson understands this. I'm sure every any sane human understands this. And by sane, I mean Carson and, and uh, Sanders to an extent. Well, let me tell you a little bit about the race, all right, the presidential race. If it is, indeed, if it ends up being Carson versus Sanders, it's going to be a very interesting, and in my opinion, a very close race. It will be a close and interesting race, and I will be on the edge of my seat attentively listening to the, to the results of the election. Both candidates have the... Have extreme potential. Both candidates have the potential to actually do something for this country. Sanders is about the only Democratic candidate I approve of. You know, I, I mean, I want a Sanders versus Carson race. Now, now, granted, of course, you all know who, you all know who the fuck I want in the White House. <laughs> and if you don't, oh by God, you have been living under a rock and you ain't been listening to my sorry fucking ass. We all know who the plague wants in the White House. I think we all know who this Jacob Tench fellow wants in the White House, too. And, uh, Tench, if you're listening to these videos, why don't you throw me a subscribe? Why don't you, you know, become infected? Why don't you, I don't know, comment? All right? We can exchange, uh, you know, we can have an intelligent political discourse about the subject matters, all right? And, yeah. And as it pertains to the subject matters for this video, well, it's over, folks. This subject matter, serious, you know, uh, substance part of the, you know, political part of the video, it's over. Now we get to the announcements, and I'm moving the announcements to the ass end of the video because I find that putting the announcements on to the beginning of the video tends to, you know, doesn't grab the people's attention as much. So, of course, if you guys, and, and they don't know where to fast forward to, obviously, because you don't know how long the announcements are going to go. Like, how long, like, how much longer are we going to have to sit through this shit? So I'll save the drivel for the end of the, the pointless announcement crap for the end of the video. And, of course, if you don't want to listen to the announcements, well, you can stop the video. You can pass it if you want. I won't, I won't get offended. You're, you ain't going to hurt my feelings about that shit, because I know how tedious announcements can be. But for those of you who actually give two fucks, here are the announcements. Now, of course, you know the reason I'm talking softly. And, of course... You also know the reason that I'm doing, you know, current events and my take on those because, you know, I can't just do opinions, day, you know, week in, week out. You folks need variety. And besides which, if I do current events, I, if you do current events, you, I mean, if, if you're doing something like this, if you're trying to imitate me, and, and of course, you're, I mean, you can get close, but you're not going to actually match up. In my opinion, if you think you're as good as I am, 
And if you want to say, oh, look at me, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the plague 2.0. I mean, you can think what you want, folks. You folks can think what the, whatever the blue fuck you. Excuse me, folks. That's the, that, uh, and of course, if you drink fizzy drinks, that's going to happen. Let's get out of the attic and not the basement this time. At any rate, well, if you folks want to sit over there and think that you're me and you can clone me, go ahead. Now, I'm going to say right up front that you probably can't. But, you know, for all of you folks that want to, if you, I mean, that want to make videos pertaining to intelligent subject matters, like me, like, like my inspiration, Ghost from True Capitalist Radio, God rest his soul if he's dead, which I hope he isn't, but he's not broadcasting anymore, so we don't know. Uh, and, you know, what you want to do is, you know, I started off with opinions and opinions alone. Straight, my view on the world, straight up. And if you want to do, I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. But you'll run out of content for a while because you will have exhausted all your beliefs. You will have spoken about all your beliefs. But if you do current events, folks, things are going on in this world all the fucking time. So if you do current events, you will never run out of content. Seriously, if you do current events, you'll never run out of content. Never. Ever. Because things are happening in the world all the goddamn time. You've just got to look at the... I mean, open your fucking eyes and look at the news, for Christ's sake. Look at the... Look at the race for the White House. Look at the ele electoral race. All right? Look at the electoral race. All right? Look at um, world news. Look at world news. Oh, oh, here's a good one. You folks here that... You, you, do, you folks do know that Putin wants to... That... Um, I don't know if he's still uh, in Syria, because I heard some about him uh, saying that he was going to pull his fighter jets out. But uh, maybe he still has men on the ground, I don't know. But Putin either was at one point or is still, you know, having uh, troops in Syria fighting ISIS. Because he's thinking, because he's sitting over there in Moscow in the Kremlin saying, These Americans are doing a bad job of fighting ISIS. I go over there, fight ISIS for them. Gain the respect of the world. And let me tell you a little bit about Putin. That's going to be branching off into a little subject matter here. A little, uh, mini subject matter. Uh, in case you guys passed, um, uh, I'll, I'll explain Putin again in the next video. In case uh, most of you, in case you folks passed, uh, passed, the, passed over the announcements. But Putin's a smart man. He knows his shit and he does his homework. And you want intelligence in a president. But... I mean, you, you gotta you gotta take into account this guy was in the KGB, and I'm thinking. I mean, I don't know what Mr. Putin's motives are. I can't speak for him. I can speculate. I can speak about him. I can speculate, but but I think. I mean, Putin. Now, for those of you who've been, who, who are unaware, have been living under that big of a rock, that thick of a rock, and have that thick of a goddamn skull like me, for those of you who are unaware, Putin took over the Crimea. He says it was through a democratic election, but remember, this, this man did have men in the Crimea and the Ukraine. I think he still has men in the Ukraine, come to think of it. So what I'm thinking, I mean, and this guy's got his eye on other Eastern European countries, too, and... Stuff to that nature, like, like the Chechnya, the Stans. I'm thinking that this guy might want to reunite the Eastern Bloc under the banner of the Russian Federation. Not the Soviet Union, but the, but the actual but the Russian Federation that they have now. And um, he may or may not want to instill a communistic government. I don't know. Like under the, like that wears a democratic mask, but like a mask of democracy, but I don't know. I'm not Putin, and I can't speak for the man, so uh, I, I can't really tell. Hell, I'm not even a Russian citizen. Granted, I, I, I uh, you know, there's a, there's a, 
person from Eastern Europe, uh, Europe who goes to this school who speaks Russian, but that's about it. Um, and of course, I'm not this person. But I'm certainly not a Russian citizen either, obviously. I'm, a, I'm American, born and raised in this country. And of course, I want the best for it, which is why I want, well, you know who I want in the White House. Fuck it. And, and, and I don't know what Mr. Putin's motives are. I think he wants to reunite the Eastern Bloc under the Russian Federation, but I don't know. Don't quote me on that, folks. If it happens, it happens, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, they're there and we're here, so it's not our concern, unless, of course, they declare war on us, which I don't see happening because we both have nukes. And in case you folks didn't know, you don't win a nuclear war. Oh, you fry the planet and everyone dies, but no one fucking wins. I mean, if they launch, we're going to fire our ship. If we launch, they're going to fire theirs. So, I mean... Either, we're either going to use nukes or we're not. Um, but I don't think we're going to go to war with Russia. I don't see that happening anytime soon. It may or may not happen, you know, but I don't know. I don't see it happening. Because they don't have anything we want, and I don't think we have anything they want. China! I don't know. Well, I'll explain about Russia and China and world news in the next video. But, 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 but uh, those, I mean... And, and the reason I haven't been doing, you know, of course, videos for a couple of weeks is school, family, uh, playing with the idea of taking grains of truth in a different direction, which I venture to say I just have. I venture to say I just have. And all kinds of shit, so, and uh, waiting for enough things to start happening for me to talk about them. And that's all she wrote. So those friends were the announcements for your ass. <laughs> Woo! All right, folks, I'm going to kill it here. I do believe I've said and had and done enough for this video. So I'll hopefully see you next week. Probably will. Uh, it's late, but um, I will see you folks soon. So, I'll be the Zane Freunde, and of course, you know what I'm going to say next. Stay Teutonic! Ha <laughs> ha!